Another fire, this time in Waikiki, forcing residents to rush out of a burning high rise. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Paula Akana. This morning, sirens wailed and smoke filled the streets of Waikiki. Nearly 60 firefighters were called to battle the high rise fire today. That fire broke out at the Aloha Lani condominium at 2211 Alawai Boulevard. That's between Seaside Avenue and Lewis Street. KITV Force Dick Allgaier is live near that building to explain why firefighters say high rise fires are so difficult to get under control. Dick. And Paula, this was a difficult one to control. This fire took more than a half hour to contain and nearly a full hour to extinguish. The fire broke out in an apartment on the eighth floor just before 11 o'clock. Flames shot out of the lanai and spread up to the ninth floor unit above. When firefighters arrived, they called for more help. Eventually, nearly 60 firefighters came to the scene. Some residents of the building smelled the smoke and fled the building. They described going down the stairwells. Terrified, very scared, uh, because we're on the 12th floor. So I think worrying about trying to get downstairs and be safe. The entire building was not evacuated. Some residents stayed on some of the top floors. It'd be preferable that people on all floors start to move away and evacuate, but many of them chose to stay. Fire officials say high-rise fires are difficult because firefighters have to control the street, take control of the elevator. They have to clear people from the lobby and get people safely off the floor where the fire is burning. Then they have to hook up to stand pipes and finally get a water supply. So it takes time to put all those resources in place, which means the fire burns, which is why the fire lapped up above before we could get water on it. This one burned for more than 30 minutes. Fire officials say the building does not have a sprinkler system because it was constructed prior to 1974. And fire officials say three units total were involved, two on the eighth floor, one above on the ninth floor. They're setting the damage at $210,000 due to the fire and another $15,000 caused by water damage below. Paula, I'm reporting live from Waikiki. Back to you. All right, thank you, Dick. And here's a look at that fire, courtesy of one of our viewers. You can see the smoke and flames pouring out of the unit shortly after that fire started. If you happen to see breaking news in your area, send us your photos or your videos. It's easy. You can post them to the U Local section of our website at KITV.com.